if you are looking for a good scare tonight, tonight may be your first chance to brave a haunted house. A lot of them are opening their doors. It is a one-month run that takes a year-long work. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramis brings us a sneak peek. When October rolls around, the scares roll in. For the crew at Terror on the Fox, there's no better season. Heaven. It's, it's, it's what we build all year for. Our, our crew is out here building basically as soon as the snow starts to melt and our, our doors get unfrozen. A crew of 12 worked 6 to 20 hours a day to create the haunted attractions here. Mike Parpovich says they strive for realism and detail. We actually put four layers of wallpaper onto this wall and we ripped off individual layers. So he that says you'll find that meticulous detail in every room and with good reason. There are a number of haunted houses in the area and though the rivalry is friendly, the competition is stiff. In the end, the customer is the one that actually gets the benefit of it because we're going to try harder, they're going to try harder, which is just going to raise the bar that much more. Nina's Most Haunted is among those shooting for the best scare, but organizers say this haunt is a bit different. Youth Ghost Haunted House is our largest fundraiser. We don't have a really big budget to put into the project. But plenty of volunteers to make it happen. Okay, again. Executive Director Kelly Hicks says all proceeds go to the organization and the youth who've put a lot of themselves in the project. You can just creep up on people, um, breathe on their necks. While props and production elements add to the experience at both haunts, crews there say the actors make it real. Their recipe for a good scare? Misdirection, unexpected moments, and of course, the element of surprise. Just like that, this is a fun one. They say a scream awaits around every corner, so enter if you dare. Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. Looks like fun. Terror on the Fox and Nina's Most Haunted are open through October 31st.